Hi everyone, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the NVC processing times for October the 15th, 2024. We also we're going to talk about the case transition from USCIS to NVC and also case transition from NVC to consulate for immigrant visas and K visas to simplify the immigration process. We also we are, we are going to include November Visa Bulletin and October NVC Backlog Report. If you are new to this channel, my name is Sliman and I make videos for a family-based immigration to simplify the immigration process and give you confidence to go through your immigration journey by yourself. First of all, I am not an attorney. I am here to help you based on the information I have from NVC website. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you follow my channel, you already know what this means. We have three of them. First one is a current case file creation time. The second one is a current case review time. Third one is a current public inquiry form response time. Top two are crucial to your case. You must understand them. First, we're going to define them, then give the processing times. Before we do that, let's talk about the case transitions uh, from USCIS when we see what this means. Once USCIS approves your petition, they will send you I-797 like this one right here, telling you that your case has been approved and it has some important information about the petitioner and the applicant. You will need this information to file the future uh, forms. And at the meantime, NVC, I'm sorry, USCIS will send your approved petition to NVC for processing. NVC will receive your case, enter the data from your petition into the system, and create uh, your login credential and send it to you as a welcome letter. Uh, this is a two welcome, two welcome letters right here. The left hand side, also called Notice of Immigrant Visa Case Creation, and it has NVC case number and the invoice ID number. For the right hand side, however, is for K Visa. He has a case number, and uh, that's what you need to complete your immigration journey at www.ustravel.com. Uh, let's now we defined it. Now let's talk about the first uh, processing time for uh, current case file creation time. As of today, the 15th. October 2024, NVC is working on cases that were received from USAS on the 17th, September 2024. If we compare the data to the last two weeks, they were uh, NVC were working on the 16th, September 2024. As you can see, in two weeks, just they moved one day, which is not good. Uh, this is a visa bulletin for uh, November 2024. As you can see, there is a minor movement for F2B for Mexico, and also there is a movement for F3 all around the world, including China and India. For F4, there is a, a movement for F uh, for India. It's 15. The priority date now is 15 June 2006, and also there is a movement for F4 for Philippines. It now is for is first uh, August uh, 2006. Now let's talk about the K visa. This is a welcome letter for a K visa. As soon as you receive your welcome letter, it's time to go check your status and see where it is at. How we do that? It is very simple. Just go online and check and type the visa status check and, the, and click on the first link, and it's gonna take you to the page like this one right here, where you can enter uh, the, the visa application type. You must select immigrant visa. Do not select non-immigrant. It will not give you no status. A lot of people do that and they get confused. Uh, immigrant visa case number you will have if you're welcome letter like this one right here this is your case number right here and then enter the code shown in just characters basically right here and then click on submit once you click submit it's going to give you a status if it's ready it's time to go and create your profile how you do that it is very simple just go online and type www.ustravelducks.com and follow the instruction it is very simple and also I have a video on my channel on how to do that. Just click on your user. You will need a valid email address and your full name. Once now you log into your account, 
you have your, your you know you created your login credential and you log into your account it's gonna look like this a non-immigrant visa application that it was confusing you gotta remember this uh, website is for non-immigrant visa as well but for key visa it's immigrant visa so you can pay for a visa fee you can complete this 160 and schedule the appointment uh, before uh, this is my advice for you never submit your ds 60 until you get the confirmation email from embassy or consulate from your country because sometimes they take a long time and you know if you have some changes to your ds 160 there is no way you can do that then you uh, first you're gonna pay the visa fee and then start scheduling your appointment and i have a video in my channel how to do that as well once now you schedule uh, your uh, visa appointment you will receive a confirmation letter from uh, consul or consulate or embassy telling you that you scheduled your uh, interview uh, at the time and uh, at the time and location where you will have interview now let's switch to immigrant visas such as CR and AR this is a welcome letter it has NVC case number and the invoice ID number as we mentioned before and it has also the link if you see the link right here if you click on it it's gonna take you to sign in page where you can uh, first you need to check I have read the terms of privacy act notice then you enter the case number It's gonna take you to the next page where you can enter the invoice ID number and the one that apply for you you will have four options petitioner applicant attorney or third party agent then you enter the character shown above and click on continue once you click on continue it's gonna take you to your main uh, NVC, NVC account make sure this information I'm sorry this information right is right because it comes from your petition if you see something wrong send an inquiry right away to NVC and also update your email address if it's not updated now this is the bottom of your NVC account uh, if right here it will you first here if it's ready it will show pay now if it's not it will uh, this one will be uh, enabled and you have to wait for a confirmation email from uh, NVC to tell you that they are ready to collect the fee from you now let's go back to here you must pay these fees separately for affidavit support and IV fee you cannot pay them at the same you can't pay them at the same time you must pay them separately and then start uploading a, a supporting document for a petitioner or a sponsor for IV application you must complete IV application before you start before you upload the separate document it has to be a process you first you pay the fee then you complete this 260 then you upload civil document I already talked about that one so now let's go to the second NVC time frame or NVC processing times which is a kind of case review time first let's give the processing times and then we we'll define it uh, current case review time as of today 15th October 2024 NVC is reviewing documents submitted to them on the 4th October 2024 if we compare it to the last week they were working on, on the document submitted to them on the 27th September 2024 at least they moved uh, by uh, seven days uh, by a week uh, before NVC reviews your document you must pay all the fees and submit all required documents for a petitioner applicant uh, and also submit the S260 and print the confirmation page and uh, also submit civil documents for the applicant this is a petition document once you click on them they're gonna show missions you must applaud them and I have a video in my channel on how to upload them if you want to watch it once you upload them the status will change from missing to uploaded as you can see right here all status now are uh, is uploaded uh, once you click on submit the status will change to submitted that's the day they are talking about right here the current case review time is right here they are talking about you could be in a petitioner's document or uh, applicant document same way right here applicant document once you click on them they're going to show missing but once you upload them the status will change to uploaded as you can see right here and once you click on submit the status will change to submitted that's the current they are, i'm sorry that's the date they are talking about current case review time now NVC will take time to review them. It, it depends. Some people they get uh, they, you know they get their documents accepted during you know, uh, two weeks. Some people six months. Some people some people a year. So we never know. So uh, it depends your case. So once they accept them, 
you will become back in March 25 and NBC will send you an email telling you that your immigrant visa case becoming documented or qualified. From this point right here, NBC will work with your consulate to schedule an interview for you. That case transition from NBC to consulate. Once they do that, they will send you an interview visa appointment letter and they will give you the time, location where you will have interview. Uh, this is a uh, NVC immigrant visa backlog report. Uh, so they have NVC has 413, 264 documentary qualified cases sitting at NVC as of September 30, 2024. Also, they scheduled 50,022 interviews for uh, October 2024, and the backlog went down now to 363, 242. It's still a lot, but at least it went down by almost uh, 25,000. If you check the status, you will see at the city where you will have interview. As you can see, this one right here, it will show at Casablanca. Your case, it will be at Casablanca. That's uh, the city where you will have interview. And if you check your status online, it's going to show ready. This is, this is from your NVC account, and this is uh, online status. Now, let's go to the last one, which is current public inquiry form response time. As of today, 15 October 2024, NVC is responding to inquiries received on the 8th October 2024. Last week, they were working on, on the cases that were received on the, on the 2nd October 2024. NVC is doing good in that one because they know people have questions, so they answer them very quick. To send an inquiry to NVC, it is very simple. And how you do that? Just go online and type the NVC inquiry. And click on the first link and it's going to take you to the inquiry page you will need nvc case number or your uscs receipt number you will need the principal applicant full name you will need date of birth must be in the format day month and year uh, petitioner full name and who is filing this inquiry petitioner or applicant or a third party agent then you will need a valid email address because uh, nvc cannot communicate with you with a valid email address and then you enter the inquiry right here what you want to ask NBC. And if you have supporting documents, you can attach them right here. You have uh, five attachments, which is good. You can attach five attachments, which is good. Once you're done, just click uh, check I'm not robot and then click submit. Once you click on submit, your, uh, your inquiry will be sent to NBC for processing and they will be with you in a couple of days. So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Thank you and see you in the next video.